Hi, let's uh, prep for lesson six of Bootstrap Algebra 2020, fall 2020. Um, last time we did function composition. This time we're going to get to um, start to do some defines, function composition. Um, we did a, we did that exercise with the, the cards. Um, and uh, manipulating images, composing them, and the homework was to do um, uh, some some composition with uh, images, and then also one where we did three things. I think the point of that is to um, you know you'll you'll appreciate what a pain it is to to type these um, image generating functions over and over again so that we will appreciate um, having the define as part of this one. Defining values, let's get some slides. Let's make our own copy. That was five, so this must be six. sure why that says pirate. Hopefully it's we scheme. Did I pick the wrong? Also vote for pirate. No, I mean, that should still be we scheme. Let's uh, we'll double check when we get in there. Okay. Uh, if you don't know, um, th there's, there's two different versions of bootstrap algebra. Um, one's taught using the we scheme language. One's taught using a pirate, the uh, language called Pirate, uh, which is kind of Pythonish. Um, I really, really like the we scheme version. I like the whole um, scheme family. It's not something that is um, encountered in a lot of other programming classes. So I think. Uh, using Scheme as a teaching language um, really helps to separate um, what's essential from what's uh, accidental as far as what gets introduced in languages. And if you jump right into Python uh, or, or a, a, a language that looks like that, then you, you get some concepts um, mixed, students do, um, as far as what's essential. So I really like using Scheme because we're not you're not going to avoid Python um, as a programmer in the um, early part of this century. You're not going to avoid, um, you know, those those languages that look like C. So um, I think it's great to have the Scheme family as a first language. Let's close both of those. Open our five. Uh, no, wait, we should have had six, right? Let's refresh. Mm, did I do something wrong? Lesson slides. Oh, I think I didn't save it in the right place. Uh, I think I was talking and forgot to... Yep. Let's see if we can move this. Maybe right click. Move to. Move. All right. We will have more work to do than I thought if this is pirate. Let's just whip through here real fast and see. Yeah, that's pirate, dude. Well, I mean, it's just that one slide, I think. Math has definitions. So does pirate. Dang. Um, and we're definitely still in the we scheme section. 
I don't have a um, I don't have a, a you know a fold there's no folder or anything um, to know you know to be able to ch to fix this if it's from another so let's just fix that ourselves um, we're going to use define and define um, so let's fix these Right. Let's fix these. Right. So does the scheme. Fine. Let's make sure that is the syntax. I believe it is. Yup. Why? Why as plus x one? Yep. All right. I wonder. I don't know. I might have done something else on the Wii Scheme version of it. Um, in fact, let's see what this guy has for us. Oh, okay, good. Yep, I guess I could have done that. Uh, okay. Expressions evaluate to answers, definitions don't. So that's another reason I really like the um, the Lisp version um, is it doesn't conflate uh, the uh, meaning of equals. So there's no equals in uh, the, anywhere in the definition, in the defined version of uh, the Wii Scheme version, which there is in the Pirate version. E just like in math, equals does double duty uh, with both... Um, Definition, you know, both a, yeah, both a, an assignment and an answer. So, don't like that. Just this is just an example of conflating things that that are just incidental to how somebody wrote the programming language. So, uh, I think that the scheme version is clearer. This file which draws the Chinese flag. Which do we have that here also? No. Okay, so let's do this. And we want to open that in our... So I'm going to right-click, copy that link, go over to where I'm doing Wii Scheme, paste. Good. Okay, we can open that up a little bit. run that. Interesting. Flags of the world. Nice. 
Yeah, that's fun. That's super fun. Uh, I think the like uh, some of the the Wii scheme curricula uses um, um, some of those flag things for like hour of code and stuff. I want to. I really want this to not be indented as far, but it looks like the shift tab thing doesn't work in Wii scheme. As far as I know, there's no way to fix that. So. So I'll live with it. All right, let's keep going down this guy then. We fixed that. We can use define to create definitions for commonly used expressions. All right, x equals 4. We already did this. Define x or y equals x plus 1, define y plus x1. Define prize as star 50 solid. I like they use the right print, the right uh, quotes here. Prize star. Oh, no commas, no commas. Solid gold. Let's look for that. Just want to make sure I get the syntax. I don't have any syntax errors. All right, page twenty-two and twenty-three. Twenty-two. Okay, what happens when you enter shape? One, twenty-two, twenty-three. Flags of the world. Don't oh, worry about that. Cleaning code. All right, I think I'm probably not going to have them do that. That can be homework. So let's do. The ability to find values allows us to look for and make use of structure in our code. What structure do you see? Okay. They've highlighted that. Is that a... Um... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so that fades in. That's cool. It's good to know. What happened? A lot of code on the right. I don't know what that. I'm not sure what that's about. Cleaning up the code. Okay. Open this file, which draws the Chinese flag. Okay, so that it doesn't actually say to do that. Should I walk through the Chinese flag example? Hmm.
Let's see, what if I want to? Okay, ah, okay, so yeah, all right, I'm going to do that. Say, all right, what do we see that is repeated? We see all of these. So that's one thing we see repeated, but let's test first. So I'm going to run it. Chinese flag, we get, get what we wanted. All right, I'm going to do that. All right, anything else? All right, we'll wing it. All right, so we'll um, we'll do some definitions to um, wing that. So I will do that, but it doesn't actually say. Okay. The rest of the code replace your expression with your definition. Yes, I will walk through that. Okay. And then, yeah, we wanted to do, we totally wanted to do the rest of, we want to do these flags, man. to do flags of the world. And I don't know. I don't think I need a slide to remind me to talk about why that's useful. So let's just do 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 Uh, and in fact, let's do this. Let's zoom way out. And let's screenshot that. Very nice. Let's shrink that just a little. Nice. Good. That automatically saves. We can close that. All right. So we had to uh, redo a little bit of our. Um, File, but we ended up walking through this so that review is pretty straightforward. Get that set up. That's ready to go. All right, I think we're ready to um, record the video.